Carbon monoxide, you probably heard of it, maybe you don't know a lot about it. It's a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas that is slightly less dense than air, and it is extremely dangerous, particularly in the wintertime. Here with me now from Albuquerque Fire Department is Lieutenant Jeff Hankins. He's from the Hazmat Program. Good morning, Lieutenant. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Matt. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. And yourself? Good. Okay, let's talk about carbon monoxide poisoning. How big of an issue is this? Uh, well, in 2012, uh, Albuquerque firefighters responded to about 70 carbon monoxide related calls. Um, during the winter months, which is November through, de through February, the chance of carbon monoxide poison poisoning is slightly higher or it is high as that well at this point of the year everybody's turning on their heaters mm -hmm. um, they're firing up their fireplaces particularly and, the gas fireplaces yeah absolutely and then fireplaces where people don't open their flues you get that exhaust into the house um, so we have these higher levels of carbon dioxide that are being created by all these gas burning appliances or propane appliances such as mm -hmm. water heaters furnaces and and ovens Okay, what are the signs that if some of this gas gets out in our homes that we think it could be there? Because the problem is it's colorless, odorless, and tasteless. You really don't know it. Absolutely. Um, carbon monoxide poisoning is easily confused for flu-like symptoms, okay. for food poisoning, and other illnesses. Okay, things like shortness of breath, nausea, and dizziness. Absolutely. You have shortness of breath, you have nausea, you have dizziness, lightheadedness. lightheadedness. Um, confusion is a very late stage when, you, okay. when we get into that. Okay, so at that point, you're already in trouble. If you start to think that you get these symptoms and you know you don't have the cold or the flu, what do you do? Call the doctor, go to the hospital, call 911? Right. If you suspect these symptoms, then you want to exit the home, get okay. into fresh air, and call 911 right away. And if you're expecting, um, I'm sorry, if you're experiencing these, um, you get, I'm sorry, if you're experiencing an alarm in your home, but okay. you're not feeling any symptoms, you can call the gas company and they'll come out and check your appliances, make sure everything's operating properly. Okay, you talk about these alarms, extremely important. Every, people always talk about smoke detectors, but in recent years, these become just as important. People need to get these as well. What do they do? They detect the carbon dioxide levels in the home, and you can go to any home improvement store and buy one of these for less than $40. Okay. And um, ideally, they should be close to sleeping areas. They should be um, on each level of the home, but mm -hmm. please read and follow the manufacturer's directions for the particular unit that you buy. Okay. Um, for 40 bucks or less, these will definitely save your life. Right, and it's a, it's a cheap investment for protecting the people that you love, for sure. Okay, now here's one other thing that I've, I think I've seen before is that carbon monoxide fills the home, then somebody lights up a cigarette, lights a match for the fireplace. Can it cause an explosion? Carbon monoxide can be flammable at the proper ranges in the okay. home. Um, that's not a very common thing. It's gotcha. more of people getting signs and symptoms. And understand people that are sleeping or intoxicated might, might die from carbon monoxide poisoning and never experience any symptoms. Gotcha. Um, wow. And also at this time of the year with this storm coming in now, we have these high winds, we can experience power outages. Make sure that people don't use their stoves or ovens to heat their homes or bring in camp stoves or generators in the garage. Okay. Things like that will quickly elevate the levels of carbon monoxide. All right, Lieutenant Jeff Hankins from Albuquerque Fire Department. Great advice. Thanks for coming in this morning. Appreciate Thank you, it. Sir. All right, stay warm out there, guys. Eight